Prime Minister has again and again lied to Parliament and the public about the lawbreaking that took place in his very own house. Before we continue, just take a few minutes to subscribe if you are new here. Boris Johnson lied about the fact that unlawful events had been held inside his personal residence during lockdown. That is the unavoidable conclusion to be drawn from the information that police will issue 20 fines to individuals inside Johnson's government for breaking lockdown laws. We do no longer recognize precisely who was once located to have damaged the law. Both the Metropolitan Police and Downing Street have refused to title the humans concerned. However, what we do understand beyond all realistic doubt is that the Prime Minister lied about it. On multiple occasions, each interior and outdoor parliament, Johnson explicitly denied that any events had taken place inside his house, whilst insisting that all laws and suggestions had been observed by everybody inside number 10. When photos emerged of his former press secretary Allegra Stratton joking about the parties, Johnson then told the House of Commons that he was once furious about the impression that everybody in Downing Street had broken the rules. Later the Sue Gray document validated that the events had taken area and that the Prime Minister had attended some of them. Now the Metropolitan Police have proven that the law was broken at these parties. As a result, we now understand that the Prime Minister lied. He didn't tell mistruths or make flawed statements. He lied and did so repeatedly. What should happen subsequent ought to not be a matter of debate. According to the ministerial code, which used to be personally signed off through the Prime Minister, any member of the government who has knowingly misled Parliament is expected to resign. It is now overwhelmingly clear that Johnson did precisely that and need to consequently resign. However, what is also clear is that he has no intention of doing so. Asked on Tuesday whether or not Johnson would correct any of his statements to the House of Commons or resign, his spokesman stated that he would no longer due to the fact he has at all times sought to set out clearly his understanding of events. As this declaration illustrates, it is not just the Prime Minister who has been dishonest, however his personal spokespeople too. When first asked about the events at the start of December last year, Johnson's spokespeople repeatedly flatly denied any had taken place and continued to do so, despite mounting proof to the contrary. Of course, most governments and their spin doctors sometimes say matters that aren't true. However, the sheer scale of the dishonesty in this scandal is without any modern comparison. The relentless and unashamed nature of Johnson's tries to deceive Parliament, the press, and the public ought to be as much of a scandal as the authentic law-breaking itself. The fact that the Prime Minister will not now even admit to his personal dishonesty, let alone apologize for it, only compounds the shame he has already offered to his office. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section.